Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here at Crypto Simple. My name is Anthony and let's just discuss about the Cardano's OBFT hard fork. I'm just going to explain essentially what just happened here today. It just happened about an hour ago, give or take. So currently right now, for those who don't know, we're in the Byron era of, of Cardano, right? It's the first phase and we're transitioning into the Shelly phase. We're in the Shelly incentivized test net currently right now. So the Oral Boros BFT hard fork is essentially the bridge to that. It's just essentially moving from the Byron phase and slowly transitioning to Shelly. And there's a little bit more in detailed information that I wanted to talk about. That was just an illustration there. So, I mean, first off, it's expected for a long time. This is what Charles Hoskinson was mentioning, uh, where the protocol is shifting from the Byron to the Shelly phase, like I was mentioning. For those who know what BFT means, it's a Byzantine fault tolerance, right? It's the first step towards the Shelly phase, and there will be another hard fork, right, which is Ouroborogenesis, as you can see here. So currently we're right now, like I was mentioning, we're in the BFT. The Byron phase is shortly retired, shortly retired, right? We're slowly transitioning into the, in the Shelly. We're still in the Shelly testnet, but we're in the Shelly phase now. And then eventually, as more testing is being done, they're just going to confirm everything is fine with this hard fork. And then we're going to be transitioning to the Ouroboros Genesis, which is the Shelly hard fork. And you'll see that in the next couple of months, I'm going to say, give or take. So for those who don't know what the hard fork technically is, a really good illustration is right here, where essentially this is the Byron phase. It's still going to show that there's still tra like the Byron phase is still continuous, continuous, uh, continuous continuing on but the oral boros bft hard fork is occurring here and that's where the blockchain will split to two separate chains and then eventually it'll go and just specifically to start off with the oral boros bft right that's the hard fork so for those who don't know it's a technological technological update introducing a new consensus algorithm new consensus will be used right that's bft a node operator is just install a new version of clients and it happens in a given moment as you can see in the picture the blue block represents the Byron phase like I was mentioning, and then the orange blocks represent the OBFT consensus algorithm where the blue chain, or in this case Byron, is slowly just going to retire. Now, for those who don't understand what this concept is, it's a change that can be fun that you, you can see here, but that fundamental that old clients are not able to accept the block that is created by the new client. In this case, we're talking about a hard fork, which means that after a certain block, the blockchain is split. Right, because we're moving on from Byron and we're slowly transitioning to Shelly. It all in all, this is just the progression of Cardano. That's how I look at it. Right, you don't necessarily need to know the technical aspects of it, but if you wanted to just de dive in deep, deep, I can just show you guys something here. Well, I kind of just wrote it on my notepad here where. It occurred on 4.44 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today, right? And it's, it, which is currently at a pretty, it, it, and this is the summary, Ouroboros is provably secured proof of stake consensus protocol. The revision, original version made several compromises in decentralization. So in other words, the Shelly protocol is removing the training wheels, okay? And letting the community, us, decide on the value on the block validation through staking that's what Ouroboros is introducing right so this decision was taken to was taken to ensure that they didn't want to just create just one hard one hard fork and it's just shelly they wanted to do two in particular one the or iohk of course was mentioning that they wanted to just do Ouroboros bft first and then they're going to do Ouroboros genesis right two hard forks they just want to make sure that everything is being done properly remember i was mentioning in another video if you haven't watched it my previous videos i was mentioning how cardano and iohk like to take their time especially with their development they i mean they're an academic and rigorous research project they like to make sure that everything is dotted every t is crossed i think i always say that but it's the truth they want to make sure that everything is done properly so in this case, as you can see, I'll just make it bigger. Currently, right now, we're here, right? That's when the test net was released. And here we are in returns of the Ouroboros BFT, slowly the retirement of Byron, right? And we're slowly going to transition into Shelly. And then eventually, there's going to be the Shelly hard form, right? That is the case of what's happening here. So, in other words, we're slowly 
transitioning from centralization and slowly becoming a more decentralized current, cryptocurrency. And that's a great sign for Cardano, guys. I think you should be very excited that the development is occurring here. So if you did enjoy this video, definitely consider liking, subscribing, commenting down below if you have any constructive criticism. But aside from that, have a good day. Take care.